Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel, it's Veronica. If you guys are new here, then don't forget to subscribe down below, and also hit that bell to turn on notifications. In today's video, I'm going to be showing you guys a few different bandana hairstyles for the summer. So, let's just jump right into it. So, to start off, I figured I would just show you guys how I usually fold my bandana. So I start out usually by taking both corners and putting them together, making a triangle. Then I'll take the tip of the corner that I just folded together and I'll pull it down towards the center of the bandana. Then I'll just fold this in half. And you could wear it just like this for a thicker bandana, but I usually fold it in half one more time just so that it's a little thinner and it sits a little better on my head. And that's how I usually fold it. So now for the first bandana hairstyle, I'm going to be showing you a half updo. So I'm starting out with curly hair just because this is a half updo and I want my hair to look nicer. And then I'm going to take my bandana and tie it around my head. So I'm just going to tie a little knot in the back. And then I'm going to take a small section of hair and I'm going to wrap it around the bandana. Then I'm going to pick up another section and combine it with the first section and then wrap that around again. And you're just going to keep doing this, picking up hair and wrapping it around basically. Then once I had enough hair picked up and I didn't really want to pick up anymore, I just wrapped the rest of that hair around the bandana. And you can leave a little bit of a bigger chunk hanging out, that way it won't unravel as easily. Then I'm just going to do the exact same thing on the other side. So that's pretty much it for this hairstyle actually, it's pretty simple. So then for the next hairstyle we're going to be doing more of a braided updo. So again I'm starting out with curly hair and then I'm going to put the bandana behind my head and then I'm going to tie it on the top. So it's just basically going to be like a headband. And you could actually wear it just like this. Sometimes I do this when I don't have a lot of time, but I want my hair to look a little nicer. So then how you do the braided updo is you take your hair and you're going to section it in three sections. And then you're going to braid each of the sections. And then once you're finished braiding, I also like to pancake my braids a little bit. So basically how you do this is you just hold on to the ponytail with one hand and then pull out your braid with the other hand. And this just makes them look a little bit looser and fuller. So then once I'm all finished braiding, I'm going to take the three braids and I'm going to wrap them around the bandana. So I'm going to start with the middle one and then I'm going to just start tucking it in around the bandana. And you could probably use bobby pins to secure this, but I didn't really need it, so I just left them loosely in there. And then I kind of loosened them up a little bit after I got it all wrapped around. And then I just went in and wrapped in the side braids. And that is it for this hairstyle. So for the next hairstyle, we're going to be doing a bandana bun. So I'm going to start out by putting my hair up into a high ponytail. And then I'm going to split it into two sections. And then once I have it split, I'm going to take my bandana and I'm going to lay it across all of my hair. 
And then I'm going to wrap my pieces of hair around the bandana. And then once you're finished doing that, you're gonna just take one side of the bandana and wrap it one way, and then wrap the other side of the bandana the other way. It got a little confusing, but once you do it the right way, your bun will kind of stick, and then you'll, you'll know you did it the right way. And then once you're done, you'll have both of the tips of the bandana on either side, so you can tie them together to hold the bun together. And I tied mine in the back, just cause that's where they reached but you could also kind of configure it so maybe you could tie it in the front if you want that look. And then that is it. This is pretty cute and it's also kind of a good idea if maybe you don't have two ponytails to put your hair up. guys so that is it for today's video i hope you guys liked it if you did then don't forget to give it a thumbs up and also don't forget to check out my other videos i hope you guys have an awesome day and i will see you guys in my next video bye